Hi there. There's a question that comes up occasionally about uh, adding an additional control to an existing keyframe value. This is something that's pretty easy to do in After Effects. You can use uh, the value keyword uh, variable to put an expression on something that's already keyframed. But Fusion doesn't have the ability to do, to do that. It doesn't have that value thing. And if you put an expression on a keyframe value, it wipes out the, the keyframing. So we're going to look at how to do that. You can do it with a level of indirection. Uh, first, let's take a look. I've got my lovely keyframed thing here going on. Let's add some motion blur on it so that it's less painful to look at. There we go. Wonderful animation. And let's say I want to just compress this so that it's not doing quite so much bouncing up and down. You can see my path here. Uh, so normally what someone would want to do is say, ah, say, can I modify this with? All of this is grayed out. Can I put an expression on it? Put an expression on, and that'll just, you know, make everything go away. So that's not what we want to do. Uh, so what you can do is you can go up here to Edit Controls, and we're going to say get a new point control called New Anim. Actually, uh, Store Anim. Call it a point control. I'll put it on the controls page so it's easy to find. And under input control, offset is what our, that's what this is. This is an offset control. Say OK, and we've got our store anim down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click that and choose connect to path one position. And if you've got a lot of animation going on, and you're not sure which path you need to connect to, you can come over here to the modifiers and path one will be here in your modifiers pane. It is technically a Bezier path modifier. Uh, and then over here, you can come over and say, remove path one, and that'll take your animation out. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this to default. And now you'll see nothing, nothing is changing, uh, but we still have those values changing over here on store anim. And I'm gonna add a second control I'm going to call it multiplier. Uh, I'll call it multiply y. Multiply y. Uh, it's just going to be a number because we just need a one one dimensional number. Again, put it on controls and give it a slider control. And I'm going to set its default to one so that when we first add it, it doesn't do anything. All right. So we have our two controls here. And now we're going to add an expression to our center. Make sure this is nice and wide uh, for the X, I don't want to do anything to the X. I'm just going to leave that alone. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab stored anim. And I'm going to call that dot X. So I'm only getting the X component of that. And then I'm going to want store anim dot Y for the Y component. And now we see we've got our animation back. But it's being driven by this expression instead of by the path directly. So if I want to compress this in Y, first of all, I have to remember that everything in Fusion is relative to that 0.5. That's our default value. So uh, when you're scaling, you usually want to, to scale from the lower left corner. So I'm going to say that stored anim dot Y minus 0.5. So that'll put it at the bottom of the screen and close that in parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply by multiply y. And then add that 0.5 back on top so that it goes back to where I want it to be. So now you can see I've still got my animation. But now if I draw, drag this down, I'm compressing my animation in the y uh, direction. Or I can overdrive this and make it go bigger. And so that is the basic way that you would want to transfer animation into a temporary variable and then bring it back in as an input on your actual animated control. Have a good one.